How's it going everybody? My name is Nicole and you're on the Nicole Zamla Media Channel. And today's video, I will be telling you my top collection, movie collection box set? Sure. So in my collection, I have five movie collection Sure, let's call it a box set. Um, so it's just, you know, all four or five movies of a series all in one box collection. Um, and I, this video, I will, I will show you my top favorite. Just to let you know, this red mark right here, it's just a pimple scar. I'm very conscious about it. And that red car so happened to be parking over there while I'm filming this video. Just a disclaimer, none of these box collection videos, I don't hate them at all. I mean, if I hate them, I wouldn't pick them up. I still, I still love it. It's just not my favorite. I don't drool over it. I'm not crazy about it. I don't scream about it. But I like it. I like that it's part of my collection and I like watching it all the time at home. Okay, so number five. One, two, three, four, five of my collection would be Jurassic World 4K. Um, so it is a five movie collection. So it has these cute little cases. Very, very extremely cute. Look how thin they are. So it's like this case this thin it's cute it's it's really cute um the reason why it's number five is uh, of all the movie collection box sets i have um this one it's wow but not wow when i got this uh these are kind of slipping like you see it's not straight it's kind of like ooh. so um that's part of the reason um another reason is um like it's very thin I feel like, like, if I need to replace these, how do I? How do I replace these through Amazon? Like, probably Amazon. I probably can get it on Amazon or, or eBay as a replacement case, but I just feel like I might break them. I have big sausage hands. I feel like I might just snap in and half. Other than that, it's different. It's quite different. It's not like my wow factor, but it's, it's different. So there's five cases in here there is jurassic world jurassic world 2 i'm still waiting for the third jurassic world that's gonna come in soon Ooh. and then i got all three of jurassic park and and it's really cool how it has a blu-ray disc and a 4k disc right there that is all they really have in this box collection and like it's not like a really thick it's just a small thin cardboard so but yeah that's why it's on my number five list but I mean the how it looks on my 4k TV it's pretty good actually number five everybody on my list here on my on my number four list is the Indiana Jones for movie collection 4k how it's set up is it kind of does so you open it up like this from this little again tiny cardboard thing has the map there and when you open wow very cool very nice nice and it's like this so oh something fell and you know they have a cool little um map here i don't know what this is map little map timeline yeah it's a little map timeline which is um really neat you know um and then they have this little i forgot this name please don't hear me i forgot the name of this um but this and digital movie code it's kind of like this this kind of gives me anxiety a little bit it's just plastic and it's like really really not the strongest plastic um and there, i mean it's a 4K disc, but which is also a Blu-ray. See, I can't, I can't figure that out too. Um, but I mean, it says 4K, 4K Ultra, 
HD, and then it says Ultra Ultra HD Blu-ray. So I only have a 4K player at home. I don't have a Blu-ray player, so I don't know if this would actually be compatible on a Blu-ray player. Um, it could have been better. It, it could have been better. Being one of those top movies in the 80s, I think they could have put a little, little smidge at more effort into one of these. But um, that's why it's number four. Quality-wise, it's okay. I just love the movie, so I was more like nostalgia watching it. I wasn't really paying close attention to the sound, to the, to the picture, but it was okay. I did like it wasn't that much of a difference where I'm like, wow, that is a difference, you know. But I am glad to have it in my collection. My number three, one, two, three, would be my Harry Potter. A film collection, 4K, Blu-ray, ta-da! It's good. I like Harry Potter. I'm not obsessed with it, but I, I really like Harry Potter. This just bugs me. This just bugs me how it's like 4K and Blu-ray. I just feel like for Harry Potter being one of those really popular series, I feel like they should make a nicer presentation than this. This just, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know. It's like, and then you put it in your shelf and it looks like this and you're like, yeah, and then if you turn it around, it just looks like this. Actually, this might be a little bit better. <laughs> but I don't like how this is like this. It's just weird. This. Look how thick they are. Compared to the Jurassic World cases, it's just different. So, and it looks like this. You flip it to the next movie. See, these cases, I don't know how I feel about them. Like... These give me anxiety right here. Cause this part, this little side part that's holding the spine together, or I don't know the proper term for it. I feel like this would just break off. And it's like, how am I supposed to fix it? Can I glue this together? Maybe, I don't know. But I I actually really enjoy Harry Potter on 4K. Yeah, I really, I really do enjoy it quite lots. Um, I do have two of the Fantastic Beast, one on Blu-ray, one on 4K. But since they're newer movies, I want I haven't seen it on my 4K TV yet. So I still need to see the difference between the two, but I really like this. Number 2 would be Back to the Future. I love how this looks. I like how it appears on my TV. I love it. I love how shiny this is. And the cool thing about this is it's it's a book. It's a book. And like you got number one there, number two there, and number number three. <laughs> and then you got some bonus features. First things first, it is not number one because it's a Blu-ray. Um, it's actually one of the first movie collections I bought, so that's why. It's number two. And it's that good because it just beat three of my other 4K collections. The other thing is this part. I get it. So like this just slides out. It's kind of like those vinyl, I think. I think that's what they're trying to do anyways. Um, I'm scared that this might scratch if you, you know, just take it in, take it out. But I mean... This is really soft. Oh, see, this one's slipping out. This one's really soft and shiny. So probably the chances of it being scratched isn't um, high enough. But yeah, that kind of freaks me out because as I demonstrated a few, minute, few seconds ago, this was already kind of slipping out. So you have to be careful. You can't just place it like that because see, it's like slipping out already. It, it's unique. It's different. I haven't seen the Blu-ray 4K, how it, how you open it. I haven't seen it. I've seen a couple few videos of like the Steelbook, which is really cool, really cool. But um, of my collection, yeah, number two for sure. All right, the last, last one. I am very, very proud of this one. I actually got it through Amazon. And if you guys see my collection video, you know it has a very special spot on my shelf. <sighs> 
Underworld! Underworld 4K and it's a limited edition collection. So the cool thing about this is, woo! And this is not no slim, small cardboard. It is very slightly durable. And then you have all of these. And the cool thing about this is, it has different arts in the front, right? So we have Celine, Selena, Celine. Celine. So you got different arts of Celine here, and they're not like actual pictures on like movie posters um, or the actual, the old pictures like on DVDs or Blu-rays. These are like, these looks like paintings, but these look so sick. And how they look on 4K on my TV, whoa, very nice. I was really happy with this. Although I'm surprised how I actually paid like 65 Canadian on Amazon for this and the, all the other ones I got like what for like a hundred I think Indiana Jones I got for a hundred dollars at Walmart and Jurassic Park I think was 80 bucks same with Harry Potter and this one was only 65 and look I was pretty happy I was pretty happy with that price and then you have a little thing here yes that is my top five movie collection box set I'm just gonna call this a box set I'm calling this I'm calling this video a box set all right, so hopefully you guys like this video. Don't forget to don't forget to like it down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll be making more videos on my movie collection hunting journey. Um, I'll also be showing my Funko Pops too, so that's fun. Yeah, and um, we will see you next week with a new vid. Yes. Okay, I'm going to end this video now because I am awkward and I feel like I'm being shamed on and looked at. So, adios. Bye now.